for sixth all time in moto wins in this division. Here's your Lucas Oil race recap. Hi, Masterpool. Yeah, number one off the start. Yeah, great start for him. Hey, he's on that Yamaha that you heard Martin saying is so fast. The kid doesn't weigh much. That's a perfect recipe for a good start. Great reflex. Then this was the pivotal moment right here. Ferrandis just catches a little square edge bump exiting that corner. Unsettles the bike. At one point, I thought he was going to save it. Gets going. Makes another little mistake. Gage here had nowhere to go. Just a victim of circumstances. And Master Pro held on for about half the moto, but here comes Jeremy, goes from outside to inside and puts that number six in the lead. Still a great effort by Master Pro to lead for as long as he did. And then he said management mode, like that. He's gonna save everything he can energy-wise because we're gonna run four motos over the course of four days for the first time ever in this championship. And the Circle K Redbud National first moto with this doubleheader goes to him. Hampshire, a hard effort. Masterpool, first career moto podium in third. Lawrence McAdoo Martin, they all rode well right behind him. And he ended up winning. So, old dogs learning new tricks here. Here's your Lucas, Lucas Oil race recap. There's that whole shot. Scoop tire helps there. Yeah, really good start there from Osborne coming into the turn and out of the turn. Then it looked like Cincerello had the pace early on. But and it's this mistake here coming out of the sand. Yeah, tires just float. You saw the you saw the bike twitch, and then when it came out of that line, the front just floated out there, caught him off guard. I know right now he's like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Muscan was making a charge at Osborne late, and then almost threw the whole thing away here. Ooh, that was a scary moment there. That back end stepped out real quick, but Mob, great reaction, pulls it back together. But he couldn't quite get it under two seconds. It was between two and three the whole way. And there you see Muscan in the back. And Osborne pumped to start the doubleheader weekend at Redbud in the best possible way. And also reset the momentum after Tomac. Muscan won the two motos last weekend at Ironman in Indiana. Sexed in a solid run, by the way, in third. And it has absolutely worked to his favor now in the point standings. So here's your battle. McElrath was holding him off, holding him off, and then finally the opening for the number six. He's been so strong in that slightly off camber downhill. The bike settles nicely, carries good momentum, got the lead, and then watch this. This is an extremely difficult move. Goes side by side, launches it, has a look over. Hampshire moves all the way to the side of the track. And then here on the last lap, in the same corner, we saw quite a bit of passing. Ferranis gets up the inside. Alex tries to fight back. Ferranis closes the door at the exit. That'd be enough to get Ferranis on the podium. Uh, but a long way back from Jeremy Martin. Once he took the lead from McElrath, he controlled it. And he did similar things, getting the early lead in Moto 1. So that makes it easy to figure out the overall. As for this individual Moto, we'll show you the guaranteed rate results of it. Hampshire is fifth. Cooper, McAdoo, Lawrence, Hartraft, and Hunter Lawrence round out the top 10. Let's certainly plan on doing all nine that were scheduled right now. Here's your Lucas Oil race recap. And it starts with this good Motosport.com hole shot. Yeah, Osborne, great out of the gate. That tire really working for him. Funny that most of the riders didn't choose that. Then this, Barsha wasting no time. Just, I don't know if he really meant that, but Barsha rides with full aggression. Him and Cincerello went back and forth, back and forth. So close at times. It's your official welcome to 450s when you get it run in on you by Barsha a couple times for the rookie scene through low. I mean, they went at it back and forth, fourth and back. Came all the way down to the last lap, they were close. Barsha just able to hold him off at the end. But just ahead of them, Osborne, final gap. See Barsha right up top there, only two and a half seconds behind, and Sien Surlo follows him. The close competition in this 450 class continues in 2020 as we look at the guaranteed rate Moto2 results. Sexton's fourth in this Moto will loom big on the overall podium. Let's